Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Rin to be honest. So in today's video, you know, I want to like another q and A. I love to do q and A, and you guys ask a lot of questions. I actually got a lot of q and A's. Um, I asked you guys to, to like ask me questions that you guys um curious, and I got like one hundred ish questions. Without further ado, let's get to this video. I have a lot of questions like you guys ask a lot the first one is how do you survive in Hanyang and this question is actually from my junior um, well surprisingly I did survive although it felt it felt like hell like I actually got 4.0 in a lot of my subjects which is really 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 mm, shocking because I am so busy and I don't study but um, how do I survive? I would say if you have class, especially real-time class, go to class, listen to the lecture. Class participation is a lot. Assignments, although it's not perfect, although there has like that you you have like a lot of um wrong stuff, but please submit your assignment. Even though it's not perfect or not everything's correct, just pass your assignment. Just submit your assignments. I just try to survive. I'm not that good kind of student, so I just try to survive, you know? Next is what are you most grateful for this year? I got a lot of opportunities to travel despite Corona. I got to like do a lot of ambassador works. Like if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I do tons and tons and tons of ambassador programs. It's more than 10 if I just add up throughout this year. It's like more than 10 actually. I think I am really really grateful because I got those opportunity to join those programs and meet a lot of people although there's corona although online classes university everything is just like in my home I didn't go to university but uh, aside from studies I got those opportunities to meet a lot of people go to a lot of places and like make really good content for you guys like especially in my Instagram reels I'm obsessed doing reels I posted a lot. You guys probably should check it out as well if you haven't. Um, on the days when you feel alone and helpless, what do you do to make yourself feel better? Well, you know, especially I'm alone here in South Korea. I do feel lonely. I do feel down a lot. You know, especially if I'm stressed, if I have like a lot of work to do. Like this semester, I have like five ambassador program. And that was so stressful for me and even my studies it's like really hard like juggling my studies at the same time is really hard so I do feel a lot of time like I do feel sad down very helpless a lot of time I think the most important thing is to have friends or someone to talk to you know although like I'm living alone right now in Korea um, I have friends in Malaysia like I have two very close friends of mine I usually just like talk to them or like message them like if I have complaints or like tell what I feel if I, I'm frustrated or something just like tell them everything like and they just will listen to me so to have someone to listen to your complaints or like listen to your hardships it's like really really helped me a lot like emotional support so having friends not really matters like friends in Korea friends in Malaysia or like I don't know just have someone um, friends or like families or like professor if you, you're close with your pro professor or like any other people that you can share your thoughts you know they can give you emotional support I think that is the most important thing like it helps me a lot getting through this year if I don't feel like telling my friends I would just cry alone in my sleep and I would just sleep and the next day start fresh do you have a boyfriend or a crush Hmm. If you see how I live my lifestyle here in Korea, it's so freaking busy even to have boyfriends. So no, I don't have boyfriend. So what's your favorite amusement park there? I've been to Lotte World. I've been to Everland. Those two, there are a lot of amusement park in Korea. There's in Seoul, Busan, out of Seoul, a lot. I've only been to Lotte World and Everland and I enjoy Lotte World. A lot like I really enjoy Lotte World a lot but Evelyn there's a lot of fun stuff because like it's so big I just couldn't finish everything in a day so definitely 
check out both two, Lotte Roll and Evelyn. When did I came to Korea? Like what age? I was 18 years old when, well technically 17 but uh, it was 2018 so I was 18 years old when I came to Korea. Scholarship to dia tolong bayarkan apa je kak? In terms of scholarship, it depends on what type of scholarship you get. Like for me, I got Hanyang International Scholarship Program and they just cut off 70% from your tuition fee, that's all. But there's like other scholarship, KGSP, GKS, Koika, what else, JPA, Mara. All those stuff, all those scholarships, I don't know about them. But as far as I know, uh, they sponsored your tuition fee and they give you monthly expense. Yeah, those kind of stuff. Other than Hanya International Scholarship, I really really recommend you, you guys not to ask me about other scholarship because I don't know about them. Especially GKS and like KGSP, don't ask me about that because I don't know about that. Literally, I don't know anything about KGSP or GKS so don't ask me about that. You can just like Google and you will find everything there, literally. So, yeah, Google. Akak, memang kalau dekat Korea, kena duduk apartment ke? Tak duduk dorm kat uni? You can choose yourself if you want to if you want to live in a dorm or if you want to live in an apartment. If you want to live alone in an apartment and you have the money, then go for it. But if you want to you want to stay in the dorm and you want to save money or stuff, you can stay in the dorm. It's your choice. How much the cost of living in Korea per month? Food transportation. The cost of living here, it depends on people, but for me, I would use 500 for my 500,000 house rent and another 500,000 for my monthly expense, um, including the national insurance, including phone plan, including my food, my transportation costs, everything is like in those that 500,000 per month. It differs from people to people, so for me, I use 500 for everything expense and i actually did a video about those uh, monthly expense in korea so you guys definitely should check the video out what course did you take to learn korean i went to korea university korean language program korean language program regular course from 2018 until 2020 ish how to apply Korean language program? We need to apply before SPM or after SPM. For that, you can watch the how to apply Korean language program before or after SPM. After you settle, settle everything, like you settle SPM first and then you can like focus on like other stuff. For example, the Korean language program. Can we study in Korea with our own money? Yeah, definitely. We, if you want to use your money to come here, then you use more, more money to come here. If you don't want to apply for scholarship, then don't apply for scholarship. People apply for scholarship because it helps them a lot to lessen their financial burden. And I would actually recommend to apply scholarship. But like, if you are very confident about your financial um capability, definitely just come to Korea. You pay everything yourself. It's okay. You can do it. Have you ever feel like want to stop stop studying in South Korea and go back to Malaysia? No, not really. Study in Korea, living abroad is what I want. Like that's literally my dream. I don't really feel like stop. You know, there there's a lot of really really bad bad days, like really horrible days. But it's not until. I want to stop because my goal in Korea is too big and I've come so far I've already come so far to stop and go back to Malaysia I wanted to ask why you were not admitted to Korea University I've told you guys before if you guys watch all of my videos I failed Korea University twice why I'm not sure about that because they never ever ever tell me like why i feel the first time i feel i literally go to their office like i went to their office and asked why did i feel and they literally was like shut up it's like no they don't want to tell anything they can't they cannot tell anything so like whatever what is your favorite way to relieve your stress after you and your midterms and finals i have a hobby i love to read manhwa that's like Korean webtoon. I love to read webtoon. I, lo I love to read manhwa and watch YouTube videos. That's literally my 
go to relieve stress watch anime i love to watch anime i don't really watch k drama actually that's really really weird right i'm literally in korea but i'm not weird watching k drama the korean manhwa literally i can spend days days without going out from my house just in my house laying in bed just read manhwa you know literally the best way to relieve my stress definitely for me the next question is how many A's in SPM to be able to study there? I've answered this question before. Watch this video. This video is literally like one of the most popular video in my channel. How many A's do you need in SPM in order to study in Korea? Watch this video please. Um definitely link I will link that in the description and the comment section. So check that video out. Is it hard to search for halal food and how do you search for halal food? If you go to eat one then you probably can find a lot of halal food but you can eat seafood you can eat fish um chicken you can um, buy online the halal chicken everything's con it becomes more and more convenient you now for the muslim here in korea if you want to buy chicken you can just buy online and even there's like e-mart like the huge mart in korea they also sell um halal beef it's not hard and it's not easy either. Next question is, do we need to open a bank account in country in the country to study abroad? Yes, I would definitely recommend you to open your bank account if you want to study here in Korea. How's your day? <laughs> Thank you for asking. That's so sweet. My day today, I wake up and I prepare myself for just like slowly because it's already holiday uh, here in South Korea it's like winter holiday winter break I went out and went to a cafe and I just like plan all my YouTube videos like in my iPad let me show you but I went to a cafe and just like plan a lot of my videos in my iPad spent the day like that and came back home and open up my camera and film this q a and after this i'm probably going to eat dinner edit some videos edit this video and then go to sleep that's literally what i'm gonna do today my day is normal is it true that uh, there's a few that doesn't like foreigners i would definitely say yes there are people not only in korea there are a lot of those kind of people around the world even in malaysia there's probably a lot of people like that as well but yeah if you ask me that i would say yes there are a few for uh, a few lectures probably not in hanyang probably there's in hanyang there's probably in other universities but there definitely there are a few in korea how's hanyang in general is there uh, a lot of international students and is it hard to make friends uh i would say for hanyang uh, we have a lot of international students especially exchange students and also there are a lot of international students in like the english track or english focused major like international studies international relations and there's a few also in engineering there's business chinese from china vietnamese like southeast asian european japan a lot of those um international international students so yeah is it hard to make friends um it depends on your personality and depends on the other person like if they want to be friends with you then you be friends with them if it, they don't really show that they are interested to be friends with you then don't push it don't force the friendship again okay? next um not a question but good luck on your study if you are having a hard time lean on someone good luck Thank you so much. Uh, th I'm so thankful for like this kind of um, word of encour encouragement because if you guys like follow me in my Instagram, I, I really like to post rant. I love to rant on my Insta story. Literally, if I'm stressed, you know I'm stressed when I start to like like write very, very long posts or like long posts in my Instagram. I, and I usually do that, especially when I, I'm stressed. Because I'm alone here, you know, and if I depend on you guys, I depend on my followers. Um, yeah. If I'm studying in a university in Malaysia for a degree in first year, is it possible to go to Korea on second year? Yes, you can. Uh, it's called transfer student or pionip thing. Pionip, you can apply for. You can apply for transfer. It's literally the same procedure. You just go to the university's website, download the brochure, and um a lot of university they give 
the guideline like transfer student so if you want to apply then yes you can come to Korea as a transfer student so if you are a first year university student in Malaysia and you want to transfer and come to Korea for your second third fourth fifth year whatever you can you just like apply just follow the brochure the guideline everything's there um, how you motivate yourself and avoid procrastination and also how you memorize your studies I'm not sure if you guys know this but like I'm I'm a really 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 huge procrastinator I am not the person you should look for if you want motivation definitely not me because I procrastinate at the last minute I literally study my all of my subjects at the last minute how do I avoid procrastination? I don't because I procrastinate until the last minute. At the last minute, then I go study. Can you share what is your worst experience when you study abroad? I have a lot of bad days and like, like really worst days, worst experience every single year. But it's not like really, really bad thing. For example, my worst experience when I was in 2019, that was during university application period. I was so, so stressed that I failed my level 6 in Korean language program, so I took level 6 again. That's why it takes like 2 years for me to study Korean language. Um, yeah, It was during university application and even that, I failed Korean university twice, so that was, I guess that was my worst experience during that year so when during 20, 2020 i would say the worst experience would be my first semester first year first semester that was my worst i got like very depressed and got very stressed of the like sudden corona corona you know corona online class i don't know how to work with that i'm literally first year first semester Definitely don't know how to work with all those stuff. Literally got very depressed and all. Very new to everything, but there's really no one to guide you. So you're just like flailing alone. Have you ever met idol while walking through the streets or anything like that? Um, have you ever met idol while walking through the streets? For me, I walk with the idol. <laughs> on the streets. One of my friends is a K-pop idol, so yeah. What is the hardest thing for you to live in South Korea, your first one to two months in Korea? The hardest thing when I first came here was definitely in terms of like money. I don't have bank account and I have like a bunch of money on my hands. I accidentally used, almost used all of them before I got my bank account. So I literally have like very very few money left. So I need to survive on that money. I don't know anyone. So the first one to two months, it was hard in terms of like where to find halal food, where to find food. I literally survived the whole semester with just eating tamti kimbap, like tuna kimbap, literally every single day. Even until my roommate, when I was in Korean University Korean language program, like the dormitory, even my roommate, she said to me like, Nurina, you need to change your diet. Don't eat tuna kimbap every single day thankfully i have a roommate and she lived in korea like longer than me so she introduced me to a few places that i can eat but yeah the first few months definitely the food and money uh, how do you adapt yourself when you arrive there for the first year i adapt here really really fast like i really love korean food but it's hard to find food to eat for me because i don't know where so I don't know the restaurants, I don't know where to eat, I don't know where to go, I don't know what can I eat. But yeah, like I said, thankfully there's my roommate and the Korea University area, have they have a lot of restaurants that I could eat, so that's that. That's really nice. But in general, I adapt to my life here in Korea really fast. I don't really have very, very extremely hardships. It's, it's just like smooth, just nice. But yeah, I think that's all for this part 1 video, Q&A video. I will definitely make a part 2 video. You guys 
ask me a lot of questions and I want to try my best to like answer all of them uh, before 2021 ends but yeah thank you again for watching guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because uh, my target is like 12k subscribers so if you want to support me definitely click the subscribe button and if you want to enter a giveaway you can definitely watch my giveaway video and how to enter and how you can get like k-pop merchandise k-pop albums you know stationaries korean skincare korean stationaries a lot of stuff from korea definitely watch that video and enter that video enter that giveaway uh lastly if you want to know more about my life here in korea i post a lot of stories insta stories instagram definitely follow my instagram and again if you want to know more about studying korea you have a lot of questions definitely go to my channel this channel is to be honest and watch all of my videos related to studying korea my life here in korea i answer a lot of questions that you are curious or you don't even know you are curious about it's like it's like very informative videos definitely watch all of my videos but yeah thank you again for watching guys bye see you again bye